Hi, welcome to Healthy Living. My name is Amy Bouton, I'm from St. Tammany Health System, and today we are getting ready to go into October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So today, our special guests, we have three. We're gonna talk about all of the things St. Tammany Health System has to offer as far as prevention, screening, and education, and cancer awareness. And our first guest today is our president and CEO of St. Tammany Health System, Joan Kaufman. So we're thrilled to have you with us today. Well, I'm thrilled to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's first tell people a little tidbit about yourself, because you have some interesting facts that connect you to St. Tammany Health System. Well, I don't know about interesting, but uh, certainly blessed. Uh, when you think about my tenure here at St. Tammany Health System, I think one of the things most people don't know is this is my second time being employed by St. Tammany. My first time was right after I graduated from x-ray school at Auctioner Health on the South Shore. My very first job as an x-ray tech was right here at St. Tammany Health System. Wow, so you, you have seen the transformation huge transformation. And what's interesting about the transformation, you know, St. Tammany Health System was created back in 1954. Mm -hmm. So we're actually gonna celebrate 70 years next year. Very exciting. When I was with St. Tammany Health System, so think about that, they started with 30 beds. Today we are now licensed for 281 beds. That's amazing. When I was at St. Tammany Health System, it was in the early 80s, and while the culture is still exactly the same, we just now have 2,800 colleagues. Right. Uh, we were much smaller. It was a two-story facility and certainly much smaller. It does feel that small. The culture is mm -hmm. a small family culture. Yes, and I'm grateful that the culture has not waned. That's right. Well, good. Well, that's an interesting fact. I'm glad you shared that because I, I do believe a lot of people don't know that about you. <laughs> so speaking of all of the growth and the exciting things that are happening, um, we've had a really big summer. We're, we're out of summer now, it still feels a little warm outside, but we are out of summer, but we had a really big summer specifically as it relates to the St. Tammany Cancer Center. So fill people in if they don't know already about what, what's going on there. Well, St. Tammany Health System has been in a long-standing partnership with Auctioner Health since 2014. We have been providing cancer care in the community since 1998. So we really have done a great job, I believe, of trying to meet the needs of the community and really expand services and continue to grow our ability to serve in a meaningful way. One of the things we did a couple of years ago was to identify a location that we could create St. Tammany Cancer Center. And that to me is now the gateway to healthcare along the highway I-12, 21, and certainly Auctioner Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And the building that stands there today is completely state of the art and creates sort of a one-stop shop for treatment of cancer. Very important. But the most exciting thing that has happened of late was on June the 22nd when Auctioner and MD Anderson came together in one of only seven partnerships across the country to create a more expanded experience for our patients in our community. And by virtue of our partnership with Auctioner Health, we now, St. Tammany Cancer Center, is a part of a three-way contract that allows us to continue to benefit our patients and our community through the partnership of Auctioner and MD Anderson. And that is, that is huge for this community. So as a, we know, as we know the importance and the weight that that carries, for the patient, what does that mean for patients in the area, newly diagnosed, in a current cancer diagnosis, halfway through their journey, partway through their journey, what does that mean for the patients here on the well, North Shore and in the region, basically? Great question, and I think it's important for our patients to truly understand that. Uh, we are very fortunate through the partnership with Auctioner and MD Anderson that we now have access to select clinical trials for our patients. We're able to expand services and create a virtual connection to providers at MD Anderson so we have the same skill, expertise, and pathways that they do in Houston. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, for patients to know, to be very honest, that they're cut, if they are being treated at MD Anderson today, their physician there will not be at St. Tammany Cancer Center, but access to right. that physician is gonna be the benefit of this relationship. And there were a lot of things that we did to sort of meet MD Anderson where they needed us to meet them to improve our standards even more. So it's interesting, Amy, you know, three years ago, so even before St. Tammany Cancer Center was constructed, we began the journey with our partner, Auctioner, 
to look at what the gaps in care were based on the MD Anderson standards mm -hmm. and begin to close those gaps. Clinically, we had 107 gaps that we had to close. Okay. Our team knocked it out of the park. And this is the team not only uh, at the St. Tammany Cancer Center, but also at St. Tammany Parish Hospital, which is our flagship. Mm -hmm. And then also the Women's Pavilion, really coming together to understand what the goals were of MD Anderson so we could be on a level playing field for our patients. So add to that the multidisciplinary approach that was already in place at the St. Tammany Cancer Center. So t let's talk about what that is, because uh, when we say that, we a lot of people don't know what that means, and you mentioned a one-stop shop, mm -hmm. but then add to that the most multidisciplinary approach and MD Anderson, and you just can't beat what we you offer. You really can't. That, to me, is the secret sauce. When you think about care, as we looked around two years ago and thought about how care was being delivered for patients with cancer, it was very fragmented and we really felt terrible for our patients because when you get a diagnosis of cancer, you want answers right away. Right. And so one of the things that has been so beneficial in this partnership is really creating that multidisciplinary approach. So you have physicians, clinicians, support staff, and that's social workers, uh, navigators, nurse navigators, psychologists, really coming together in one location so that the patient doesn't have to go from one physician to the next physician, potentially in two different cities, to seek the answers that they're looking for. Right. So we have a dynamic team that comes together and talks about each of our patients so that they have the answers that they need and the direction for their path forward right away. And I know that it's important to patients that, you know, one doctor, not some, some patients I think, okay, one doctor's making my decision, that can be scary for them. You have a team, and that team is looking into every possible thing that they can based on that diagnosis Absolutely. and making the best path forward for That's exactly treatment. what they do. And everybody has a voice, and it's important that everybody weighs in. That's why you have that multidisciplinary team, because while you think you are right on top of what you need to do and how you need to direct care, somebody may mention an opportunity that they hadn't thought of. Right. So it really is a collaborative approach. So let's just talk about one more, one more thing I want to mention about the partnership is some of the things that people might, not ha might now have access to that they didn't in the past. So what are a couple of those things? Can you kind of expand on a couple of those things, maybe like clinical trials or yep. things like that? So, you know, MD Anderson is the leader of cancer care in, in the world. So we're very fortunate to have this partnership with them. And through that, they're always creating new clinical trials and expanding clinical trials. Mm -hmm. So our patients will have access to those from a select perspective to make sure that they are getting the best path forward that they possibly can. The other thing that I think is important, you know, if you are receiving a diagnosis of brain cancer and need to go under the gamma knife, for example, mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have that accessible to us in the area before. But our partner, Ochsner, now at the Benson Cancer Center, does have that technology now available. So our whole goal with the partnership with not only Ochsner but also MD Anderson is to provide as much world-class care close to home as we can so patients and families and caregivers don't have to travel. That's, that's excellent. Is there anything else you want to say before we wrap up? This has been great. Well, I think it's important that we remember that early detection and prevention is most important. Mm -hmm. So we are doing so much in that space right now, and you'll see our Be Well bus, which is a 40-foot mobile van, very colorful. You can't, <laughs> you miss, can't it, miss it. <laughs> rolling the streets throughout the parish all the time. And it's really meeting patients where they are so that they can take that proactive approach. And we're able to, if we do diagnose a patient with a positive outcome, to mm -hmm. get them the care that they need right away. So we hope no one has to walk through the doors of St. Tammany Cancer Center. But I guess what I'd leave our viewers with today is that should you have a diagnosis of cancer, please know that when you walk through those doors, you're going to be embraced and lifted by an amazing care team who not only is professional and celebrating best practices, but certainly compassionate and there for you to guide that path. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Joan. Thanks oh, for being here today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay. And y'all stay tuned because we are coming up with Tiffany Rayford. She is our Director of Imaging Services. We will be right back. <laughs>